welcome back to Riding with B. Cray. I am B. Cray. Welcome back. So, in Riding with B. Cray, we talk about whatever comes to mind on my way to work, whether it's news, whether, whether it's regular news, entertainment news, whatever. But those of y'all who are new, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you are an OG fan, all thirsty, sorry. Y'all, if you are an OG fan, please continue to share, comment, put it out there, man. Let people know B Cray is on the air. B Cray is on YouTube. B Cray is making big things happen. So let's jump right into what we're going to talk about today so that I can send you on your way and you can have a great day because here in Hawaii, today is Wednesday. It is 8 a.m. in the morning and I am on my way to work to my office there's no ac and it's very very hot but anyway it's either here or there so let's jump into the news first let's talk about miss cardi b so this weekend cardi b did a performance out in i think it was las vegas to be exact and i guess she was hot so uh, and okay so rumor is she told people to you know throw water on her while she was performing and there's video out there where people are throwing water on her while she's performing. But I guess uh, that had stopped. And then there was another person that just came out of nowhere and just threw water on her. I think it damn it during it hit her face. She had bad and she slung. She threw. She threw the microphone at, at him or I don't know was it him or her because I couldn't see. But she threw the microphone at him. Then the microphone bounced off the person she was throwing it at and hit. I hit an innocent bot. I call it innocent bystander because the bystander is probably standing there minding his own business. So that bystander actually filed assault charges. We'll call the police and file assault charges on Cardi B for hitting her with the mic. So you can only think that Cardi B is just going to pay this girl off and send her on her way because I think that's what Cardi B is going to do. So, I, you know, I, 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 I look at this right. And then I think about people are brave when they're not face to face with you, right? So you can't be a fan in the audience and then throw stuff at people at stars and expect they're not gonna throw anything back at you. Like, what are you thinking? Like, you think they're just gonna be like, oh, ha ha ha, it was funny. No, they're gonna throw stuff back at you, especially Cardi B. Like, Cardi B is, like, so real. She's, when you see her, she's real and she's genuine. Sometimes her realness kind of get the best of her because she got to remember she's, like, a professional and people are watching her. But at the same time, like, if I was Cardi B, I would do the same thing. If I'm giving a speech and I don't care it's 113 degrees outside, you throw water on me, whatever, whatever thing I got in my hand, I'm going to throw it right back at you because... You don't do crap like that. Even though she's about to get sued, it's either here nor there. But I guarantee that person gonna second think again before they throw some stuff at somebody. Supposed to think before they throw something at somebody again. Period. And I'll, I will insert the video probably on this side. I think I'll put it on this side. I usually put it on this side. Yeah, because usually with the empty chairs. So I put it on this side so you can see it's a real short video. She just launched a mic at somebody. So you know it is what it is. You know, but they was also saying like the night prior to that she was performing somewhere else, and the DJ kind of um, stopped their music before she was finished her set, and she threw the mic at him. So there, there is not much footage on that one. It's just what's in the news. So, eh, I guess Cardi B is like, eh, I'm just gonna throw my mic at people until they decide to do what they want me to do. So I don't know. So we'll see what happens with that one. Second thing I want to talk about, Mitch McConnell, bruh. And then it's going to bring me to another topic. So, okay, this is like a two for topic, right? So, for those of y'all that didn't watch the news last week, Mitch McConnell was having a press conference as you usually do. If you don't know who Mitch McConnell is, he is a, um, I want to say he's a senator or, or he works up at Congress, right? He's in Congress. And, um, uh, he was giving a speech and then he just stopped in mid-sentence and he just stared out. 
you know, Mitch McConnell is 81 years old. So and then, you know, his his buddy, who's also one of the congressmen, who's also a doctor, you know, pulled him from the podium, took him to the back. Then he came back out. He laughed about it. Ha ha, whatever. Here is my issue with this, right? Just like the presidency, you should have a term limit, right? And then, and then speaking of presidency, there should be an age limit. Like, you can't join the army if you're, matter of fact, you can't join the actual United States military services if you're over 34 years old, right? I believe there should be a age bracket to when you A, can't run for, for office anymore, and B, when you gotta leave office. I believe by the time a person turns 70, and I think I'm being kind of flexible, I think I'm being kind of gene, what they call it, uh, genuine with this too, like, by the time somebody turns 70, they should be kicked out, the office. they should not be kicked out, but they should be like, hey, bruh, you can't go any further. It's time for you to go. Like, it is really time for you to go and go do something else, like go home and enjoy your retirement. But this dude is 80 freaking one, man. Like, you are still 81. You didn't have, Mitch McConnell had so many injuries. Like, it is time for this dude to retire, take his old, crusty, wrinkled self home, and go sit down somewhere and watch the news. Let's get some people in the, the Senate and the Congress, some new blood, some new ideas, some, some, some some new you know just something new you know and and that's what that's what needs to happen and that's what need to push the world forward let's get some younger people in there now don't get me wrong i know a lot of us older people are concerned about the younger generation i'm concerned too but a lot of that comes from how you raise your kids if you raise your kids like like you don't give them any any like discipline and i'm not talking about spanking or none of that mess i'm talking about just a regular discipline and giving them a line and, and just giving them like you know c courtesies like say hello say no you walk in the room you say hello yes ma'am no ma'am all that traditional stuff right just be respectful if you raise your kids with respect and respect and discipline i guarantee they can grow up and be whatever they want to be but if you raise your kid like they're your friend, they're your buddy, they're your buddy old pal, they're gonna grow up spoiled and they're gonna expect a lot from everybody. They're gonna expect like the world owes them something, the world owes them nothing. All right, so last thing I want to talk about, going um, Kamala Harris and presidential hopeful dissenters, that dissenters dude from out of Florida. Oh, Florida. Oh, oh, Florida. So I think I mentioned in a, in, a, in a previous video that Florida had changed, they are changing the curriculum when it comes to African-American history. And what they are saying is that, that slaves got um, skills that benefited them later on down the road. Now, if you think about that, I mean, now we sit and we think about this, right? You're telling me, I would like, you're telling me someone was a slave and they got benefits from being a slave to help them, AKA welder, AKA all this other stuff. But you made them do that. Our history took them from their country, moved them over here and made them work for people for nothing. And then sold them like you're selling clothes. You're auctioning them off like you're auctioning off a car. like. What in the world could someone benefit from that? Like, make it make make it make sense because it don't make sense to me. And I'm with Kamala Harris. They're trying to railroad. They're trying to railroad American African American history and try to make it to where where slavery was a good thing, and it wasn't. Like, just stop it. Just put history how it's supposed to be put in. Stop trying to put your swing on history. And if you, and if people who's not really paying attention, it was a black man that came up with this new curriculum. That is the sad part. That is truly the sad part. But I'm not gonna go any further on that one. Pick it up, I, mean, I will put, a, I will put a, a link in the description to where I got this story from so you can read more into it. But I'm like Kamala Harris, hey, and they don't need to talk about it. You either change it or you don't. We're not gonna have a round table about it. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna do anything about it. 
That's what I'm talking about, Kamala Harris. Put your freaking foot down. But anyway, I was going to talk about Lizzo, but I don't know enough about Lizzo right now. So I'll probably put another video out either today or tomorrow on Lizzo, but she about to get sued too. But I have to look for more information on that one. But anyway, hey man, thanks for, well, not man, but fam, thanks for watching, man. Um, what is some good vibe? Oh, there you go. Good positive vibes today. Um, smile, it looks good on you. And love your life, man. Life could be a lot worse, so you gotta love what you got. Continue to pray. I pray for you. You pray for me. We pray for the world. Even pray for people that we don't like or we don't agree with. You got to pray for them to make the world a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Uh, I love you all. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, subscribing, and commenting and sharing. I will see you on the next one. Peace.